In this next session, we are adding receivers to buildings. Uh, we already added additional uh, kind of buildings around the perimeter. So we have buildings here on the west side, on the south side. I also added a few additional receivers already on the building. And right now, we'll just add two more uh, receivers. So again, you select the receiver object. Um, I'll put a receiver right here on this facade. It will automatically detect that uh, the receiver is on the building, so we can align it to the basically the center of the facade and uh, assign it to the building. And uh, so here in this case, we put in the address. So I guess it would be 200 Hermosa, Hermosa Drive. And this will be our eight locate uh, eight res eight receptor, and uh, I'll put another one right here. Also align it, and uh, you can kind of see we can define the number of floors. So here on this side, we'll put a two-story building. That means it will automatically calculate two floors or two receptors on the ground floor and uh, second floor. Okay, so we can save this, and again we can calculate. And in this case, I'll uh, won't recalculate the grid noise map. I'll just do the recalculation of the single points. We start. It calculates all the points. Uh, we can go right here. We can go to e any point, and uh, it shows us the uh, contour or the, the sound level diagrams. Again, every circle is 10 decibel scaling. So the center is our receiver. So this is the direction where the noise came from. In terms of the yellow, that's the direct contribution. The red are reflected contribution. So here we have reflection that come from this building and hitting that receiver. And uh, we can select this one. So here we have direct contribution from the HVAC system and then reflections that come off from the wall. Uh, to this receiver, so we have again reflections building to this receiver and then direct contribution. In terms of the result tables, they are now updated, and we see the first and second floor for this uh, for this receiver with the spectral contribution. And here again, the individual contribution from each a source to every receiver, and here we have a summary of all the contributions, uh, the noise levels, and then the conflicts in terms of the exceedance of the 55 decibels at uh, daytime. And the graphic plot, we now see additional. Uh, tables here, we can drag it over here. So here we can, uh, it's highlighting actually the facade being over 55. So this one also, the facade is over 55. Uh, we can go this over here, over here. And um, now, one thing I added into these graphics, I also added the uh, logo for the, uh, for the company. So here on the logo, we can load the bitmap file or TIFF file or JPEG file, and then also add that to the graphic plot. The uh, output of the receivers, uh, uh, the free field receivers and the receiver on the buildings, are basically defined for, again for the object types. So here we have the receivers, uh, the free field and receiver at the building. And we can define the size and then also the color coding of uh, those receivers. So if we want to make them all green, click OK. Uh, so that's maybe not a great color. So let's change that again. And I'll make it a, a lighter green. And then make that also uh, maybe a, an orange. And uh, with that, these are maybe a little bit more visible. All right, I'll save this, and the next step would be uh, to add a road in here to uh, model the uh, noise from um, kind of parents dropping off their kids.